Okay, so I want to talk about people and connections, all right? And just how God lines up people, places, and things to be occurring in God's timing, not ours. And I got to tell you, I had a little bit of an agenda because I was starting later. I had hoped to get on the trail sooner. And, you know, being with the light and everything, I'm like, I want to get this many things done and recorded today, right? I have an agenda, right? And um, when I first got on the trail, I saw this guy and I didn't know him or whatever. So I kind of was like, let me go a different trail because I want to get, have the quietness of the trail and not be, you know, interrupted by other people, right? So I took a different trail, right? And then when I took this other trail, um, I met a uh, mother and her son and they got lost and they're like I was on this red trail and I don't know what happened and uh I said I know some of the things trails are not really well marked like right here um let's see I'm trying to get it there it is okay that tree marked easily okay but not all the trees are so you could be walking and miss a little tiny dot that they have on a tree which are like oh my gosh you know I didn't even see it anyway this couple this mother and her son got lost and they're like I was on this trail how do I get back and I'm like well we're at this point and you got to go this way right so the point is God put me there as a guide to help those people not be all panicky so that they could find their way back to the main trail okay and this is not a difficult park where I am, but the point is it was unfamiliar to them, more familiar to me, and I was able to help them. So I'm going on a different trail, I get back away from that couple, and all of a sudden that same guy that I originally saw on the trail, he starts walking down and I'm like, okay, I gotta interrupt my recording again. Um, and then I just said, hey, how's it going, you know? And he's like, oh, I do this all the time. He's like, I find a space, you know, I'm on my phone doing, playing a game, walking a trail, listening to some, some good music, you know, and he's like, wherever I travel, this is what I do. And I'm like, wow, I do the kind of the same thing. It's, it's a great way to, you know, unplug, be with God, you know. So anyway, the point is, we had a nice little chat and he's like, well, if I run into you again, he's like, maybe I will have a great day, you know. And the point is, everybody's doing their own thing. And then I come to another intersection. There's another mother and her son. And she's recording with her selfie stick, similar to mine. And she's like, I'm trying to find all these leaves, but I don't see so much on this trail. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, this one's not as colorful in this trail. I said, Skyline Drive is one of my favorites. I said, if you go there, you'll probably see more. And so we start talking about different parks and she's like, do you have this pass and this hang tag? And I'm like, yeah. So again, we talked about the logistics of prepaying in advance for certain trail benefits because you're, it's something that you enjoy. So you invest in the things that you enjoy. So anyway, the point is at all of these little intersections, like I could be like, I want to keep, I'm annoyed because I have to stop and start my video and my point of, my train of thought gets interrupted. And sometimes I get like that because I, I'm trying to complete a task. But at the same time, all of these little vignettes of meeting and greeting with other people who have a story is a part to share of their journey and you were going to get interrupted. So, you know, we stop and start and we have part one, two, and three as a result. So, um, anyway, it's a beautiful day. I mean, just like do a spin here. It's gorgeous, just green and the fallen leaves and just very pretty, calm, quiet. So, um, all right. I forgot what my point is. I'm gonna start a new video with a different point. Have a good day, everybody.